Matt's going to play today. Is it getting that time of year where you settle on one goalie much more often? You know, we're, I'll, I'll tell you the same answer that I've given you guys for a long time. You know, we've got two really good goalies. We're going to take each game as it comes. We're going to focus on that one game in front of us, and we'll make decisions accordingly. Like, how much regarding that sort of thought process, how much of having gone through sort of a similar thing with Matt and Mark Andre in the past has sort of uh, given you the confidence to go away from what conventional thinking for years if it was sort of you settle on one? Well, I, you know, I, I just think uh, it, it all depends on the personnel that you have, the type of team that you have, circumstances surrounding the team. And uh, so I don't know that any, any situation is the same. You know, having said that, there are similarities to, uh, to past experiences that we can look at uh, when, we're, when we're trying to think through these types of decisions. But, uh, you know, from, from my standpoint, I think... Uh, we have a we have a uh, a difficult decision game in and game out on on the goaltending position because we've got two really good goalies, and that's a great that's a great challenge to have as a, as a coaching staff. So we we trust both of these guys. They both played extremely well for us throughout the course of this season, and we we believe they give us an opportunity to win each and every night. Do you feel it necessary to have a conversation occasionally with a guy that's not playing? Uh, I have conversations with these guys continually all of these guys so uh, th that's just the philosophy we have as a coaching staff if uh, if guys aren't playing or other guys are playing we communicate the reasons why uh, and as I say to the players all the time you know we don't always expect you guys to agree with the decisions the coaches make but our hope is that you respect the decisions the coaches make is there something about Matt that you, you think lends itself to him having the numbers he does in March which are it's the best month of his career um, well, the only thing I'll say about Matt that I, that I think we all know is that he tends to play his best when the stakes get high, and he's shown that since he's been a Pittsburgh Penguin. Um, we think he's playing extremely well uh, as of late, and, uh, and that's part of the reason why we made the decision we made today. But as I said, um, we'll take each game as it comes, and, and, uh, and we'll go from there. Thanks, Bill. Okay. Thank you.